most salespeople run their, well, I think they run, maybe they have miserable personal lives and have never been on a date in their life, but they run their sales process counterintuitive to how they would run their process in their personal life. And it kills me, right? Like if you wanted to go out on a date with somebody, the last thing you would call them with is, hey, I'm single and I wanna mingle and I've been out with many women just like you and all of them love going out on a date with me. If I could just have five minutes of your time to explain why it's so fun to party with me, I'd really appreciate it. You'd get slapped. You get a restraining order. Yet, that's how we sound when we call people. The other way that we sound, and what I was referencing to in that example with Russell, is when people ask us for stuff. It's no different than if you wanted to go on a date with somebody, you calling and going, man, I would really love to know about what's going on with your relationship life. Are you single? Do you like to mingle? I'd like to hear about the other, re again, you haven't earned the right. So it's creepy. That person, both in your professional life and in your personal life, and this is why I was referencing the $950 an hour link, is gonna go, dude, it ain't my freaking job. Yet, all of the emails that you get, all of the emails that I get, and all of the emails that most salespeople send, all of their messaging falls down into one of those two channels. If I could just have five minutes of your time, I am so convinced that I'm the bomb.com, you're great, we're perfect for each other, let's party, or hey, I'd like to learn a little bit about you. Neither of those is a skillful way to start a relationship.